She was an actress, a humanitarian, a feminist, and a mother. She was also a royal, a rebel, and a renegade. She was Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, the most controversial woman in the world. How did she become who she is? How did she meet and marry Prince Harry, the sixth in line to the British throne? And how did she cope with the challenges and pressures of being a part of the royal family? This is the story of Meghan Markle, the most controversial royal woman. Meghan Markle was born on August 4, 1981 in Los Angeles, California. She was the daughter of Doria Ragland, a social worker and yoga instructor, and Thomas Markle, a television lighting and photography director. She grew up in a mixed race and middle class family with a love for theater and activism. She attended Northwestern University in Illinois, where she majored in theater and international studies. She also interned at the U.S. Embassy in Argentina for a few months. She graduated in 2003 with a bachelor's degree. She started her acting career in 2002 with a small role in General Hospital. She later appeared in shows like Fringe, Castle, and 90210. She became famous for playing Rachel Zane in the legal drama suits from 2011 to 2018. She also worked as a freelance calligrapher to earn extra money. She did the invitations for Paula Patton and Robin Thicke's wedding in 2005. She also wrote the addresses on the envelopes for Dolce and Gabbana's celebrity correspondence. She ran a lifestyle blog called The Tig from 2014 to 2017. The name was inspired by Tignanello wine, which she said was her first aha moment of understanding wine. She was married to producer Trevor Engelson from 2011 to 2014. They divorced amicably due to their long distance relationship. She was an actress who had achieved success and fame in Hollywood, but she was also looking for something more. She wanted to make a difference in the world. She wanted to find love and happiness. And she was about to meet someone who would change her life forever. Meghan Markle met Prince Harry on a blind date set up by a mutual friend in July 2016. They hit it off immediately and started dating secretly. They had their first public appearance as a couple at the Invictus Games in Toronto in September 2017. They got engaged in November 2017. He proposed to her with a ring that he designed himself, featuring a diamond from Botswana and two smaller diamonds from his mother Princess Diana's collection. They married on May 19, 2018, at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle. The wedding was watched by millions of people around the world. She wore a simple and elegant dress by Givenchy and a veil embroidered with flowers representing the 53 countries of the Commonwealth. She became the first American and the first person of color to join the British royal family. She also became the Duchess of Sussex, the Countess of Dumbarton, and the Baroness Kilkeel. She embraced her new role as a royal with grace and enthusiasm. She supported various causes and charities, such as education, women's empowerment, mental health, and environmental conservation. She also traveled with Prince Harry to different countries and regions, such as Australia, New Zealand, Fiji, Tonga, Morocco, South Africa, and Canada. She gave birth to their first child, Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor, on May 6, 2019. They decided to keep him out of the royal spotlight and did not give him a royal title. They also chose to have a private christening ceremony and did not reveal his godparents' names. She also welcomed their second child, Lilibet Diana Mountbatten-Windsor, on June 4, 2021. She was named after Queen Elizabeth II and Princess Diana as a tribute to their grandmothers. She was a royal who had found love and happiness with Prince Harry, but she also faced challenges and pressures from being a part of the royal family. She had to deal with the media scrutiny, the public criticism, and the family tensions. She had to balance her personal and professional life, her American and British identity, and her modern and traditional values. And she had to make some difficult decisions about her future and her family's future. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry shocked the world when they announced in January 2020 that they would step back from their senior roles in the royal family and become financially independent. They said they wanted to carve out a progressive new role within the monarchy and to balance their time between the UK and North America. They also said they wanted to protect their privacy and their children's privacy from the intrusive and distorted media coverage. They sued several British tabloids for invasion of privacy and copyright infringement. They moved to Canada and then to California, where they bought a mansion in Montecito, a wealthy enclave near Santa Barbara. They signed multi-million dollar deals with Netflix and Spotify to produce content that would highlight their values and causes. 
They also launched their own foundation, Archwell, named after their son. They gave a bombshell interview to Oprah Winfrey in March 2021, where they revealed some shocking details about their life as royals. They said they felt unsupported, isolated, and trapped by the institution. They said they faced racism, sexism, and bullying from some members of the family and the staff. They said they had mental health issues and suicidal thoughts, and they said they had no regrets about leaving the royal family. They were renegades who had broken away from the royal family and the royal protocol, but they were also pioneers who had created their own path and their own brand. They were controversial, but they were also influential. They were Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, the most controversial royal couple in the world. I hope you enjoyed this video about the lifestyle of Meghan Markle, the most controversial royal woman. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe to Luxury Freaks for more videos like this. And don't forget to comment below and let me know what you think of Meghan Markle. Do you admire her or criticize her? Do you support her or oppose her? Do you love her or hate her? I would love to hear your opinions and suggestions for the next video. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Luxury Freaks.